Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to a very special episode, episode one in fact, of a brand new Planet Coaster series. And not only is it special because it's episode one, it's special because I am not alone. Uh, please welcome Mask Bandit. I, you are right, you are not alone. I am here and we are here and we're teaming up. Um, this yeah, collab. Yeah, I'm collab. excited. My, my first sort of proper... Now, you're used to this collab stuff. <laughs> you're like the the master at the collab. But it's, it's all new to me. It's like, obviously, we've guested. Like, you've done stuff in Pinewood. I've yeah. done stuff in um, Conifer. Um, but we, we got chatted and we decided that it'd be quite cool to do something together. Yeah, and when you floated this idea to me, I was 100% on board. Because this is something I've... I've I did it in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, and I've really kind of wanted to do it in Planet Coaster, so I'm, I'm really pumped. So, what are we building here today, Jonty? <laughs> so, what we're building here today, uh, the idea, I've had the idea of doing a, like a, uh, how would you describe it, like a Bush Gardens, or mm-hmm. Islands of Adventure, or that kind of, you know, that just sort of like gen- general adventure thing. Sure. You know, I don't know how you'd really categorize it. Like an animal planet, uh, not animal planet, that's a TV, uh, animal kingdom, kind of. like Animal kingdom, yeah, that sort of like flags everywhere, banners, sure. wood, stone, you know. All the pieces we can't use. <laughs> yeah, well that's it, well yeah, all the stuff that you can't use in Pinewood, yeah, and to an extent you can't use in No Name Landia or Conifer. Um, right. Because they're all sort of like budget parks in their own way. Yep. So I remember when Adventure Pack came out, like I, it was great, but like I hardly touched any of it. You know, like yep. with with Spooky, it wasn't so bad because you got a lot of the planks and the interior stuff that was all quite useful. Um, but the Adventure Pack, there was huge stone statues and stuff that just and lots of um, uh, like tropical planting and stuff that I was just it was just never going to end up in the park, you know. Yeah, no, I'm actually glad that like we'll actually get to use the adventure pieces as adventure pieces because I think <laughs> every adventure piece that I've ever <laughs> used has been to be something else. Like, you know, you've got like I've used those gold pieces as domes, but not for adventure. And everyone uses the uh, the the non gridded walls as concrete for various purposes, yeah. but yeah. very rarely have I ever used. I think I had I did I had like a two or three episode series. <laughs> series if you can call it that uh that <laughs> it was using the swing and mine train and it's still sitting oh, on yeah. my computer yeah yeah, yeah. I remember that. i'm just excited yeah. to be working with you because uh we might actually finish something together so that would, I, that well would be ideal. i wouldn't jinx it <laughs> well i have a better chance because i've got i've got a reason to build now <laughs> yeah well that's it yeah so so i'm hoping like people who watch my series pinewood they'll know that I, i've got a little bit burnt out with it it's happened before and it'll come back but really one of the best they always say that change is as good as a rest don't they and oh jesus was jumped there oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, like all the planting just went down in this thing that we're working on um <laughs> must have missed the clip but yeah change is as good as a rest and you know obviously i enjoy i i'm in a weird state at the moment that i want to play planet coaster but I don't want to work on Pinewood. I totally, you know? so I like totally I kind of had you. to come up with something. So, uh, so this is as bad as far away as you could get from the sort of budget parks that we're known for. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Um, we've called it Azuri Gardens. Yeah. Uh, that was a name that you came up with. Do you want to explain the name? Um, well, I just <laughs> we were just googling one night, and, and it's really easy. It's just Swahili words, and we were just throwing ones into the tr- Google Translator, throwing words like well that might have something to do with it, like animal or park or coaster, or, and some of them obviously don't translate. But uh, I typed in, I think beauty. I think yeah, us- beauty, Uzuri yeah. is the Swahili word for beauty, so this is technically beauty gardens which yeah beauty gardens or beautiful gardens yeah. it was it was weird because the first one i did was ride i just thought oh i'll see what ride is like uh, and it's safari <laughs> the, sw- <Yeah. laughs> the swahili word for ride is safari that's obviously where we get it from so i was like oh we can't call it safari <laughs> garden safari <laughs> right no <laughs> um, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be too yeah so we, too we went back and forth didn't we like say co- i don't think there was a word for coaster was there i don't think so <laughs> that doesn't translate <laughs> but eventually yeah we got uh, azuri and it works quite nice as from a topograph typographical point of view so we got a cool logo with it yeah oh, that logo is beautiful that you made yeah it looks good doesn't it i'm quite happy with how it yeah, turned out so you'll see here we're actually building an exhibit but the the actual whole park itself is going to be um a safari park 
but uh, but then also a, a part of a zoo, which I've noticed a lot of safari parks are calling walk-through safaris, which I think okay. is ridiculous. It's a zoo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be some zoo, some safari, and there may be a botanical gardens, a butterfly mm-hmm. house. Yeah, I was just saying with the with the name with the name gardens, I I, I feel like we kind of need some gardens somewhere. Yeah, sure. So. so maybe like a big greenhouse, and then also some rides as well. Um, but the rides are definitely going to be sort of like a. Uh, uh, additional sort of uh, yeah. peripheral kind of thing, really. Right, playing second fiddle to everything else. Do you have anything like this near you? <sighs> not, I no. Um, I mean, I've got the local zoo, and Houston is not known for having any parks near it. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> um, Bush Gardens Tampa is the closest thing that comes to my mind when you started seeing yeah. this stuff. And But yeah, I, yeah. I don't think you want to be that coaster-centric. Maybe not, no, but maybe maybe Bush Gardens, circa nineteen ninety. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Or maybe like um, like a Sea World, but with more land animals in it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sense. But that kind of that kind of mix of you know it started as a, a zoo, a safari, um, uh, but then the you know the, the competition requires uh, advancements in, in coasters and rides and stuff like that as well. I think uh, this sounds a lot like uh, opening the like the first couple years Animal Kingdom was open. I got to go. Yeah. The, I got to go the first year it was open, and it really was just a zoo with a yeah. Couple I went. Of I remember going. Reading. I don't know if it was the first year, but it was definitely one of the first few years and yeah I, I was actually remember being a little bit disappointed yeah no it was i was literally too. a zoo and they had the bug's life thing i think that was it the bug's life um the tree in the middle with the bug's life video in right it, the now, 3d yeah. video yeah they had the 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 um, rapids ride i remember that one because i went on that one but right whatever that is the everest before the expedition everest yeah that wasn't even built yet no, wow! <laughs> it was a long time ago. That was like middle school. <laughs> yeah, and now and now that's like I think it's one of the better Disney parks now. Animal Kingdom. I uh, see. I haven't been there since they opened it, so I don't know. Oh yeah, I haven't been. To, I, and I even uh, uh, Hollywood Studios. I went the first year that opened when it was MGM, oh, wow. and I haven't been back since. I was like five. I don't. Yeah, that's I don't remember any that. Of that I think will be good in a couple of years. The last time I went, I was, it was you could tell it was kind of in this like weird hiatus. Mm-hmm. I think I think once once sort of Star Wars and Toy Story are completely filled out, that'll be a pretty ah, good see, I'm not, I'm not, not digging that. <laughs> no, oh, no, I don't know. It's a, it's supposed to be into it or not, but I just I, I, it, it doesn't really matter on the IP. I just enjoy the new rides, really. You know, that's like, fair. Yeah, fair point. If they're good rides, um, then it'll be good. Yeah, but um, that's the kind of budget we're going to. Yeah. Okay. So we we're still keeping budget in mind and realism. Like we, this isn't going to be a completely fantastical park. We're still going to be having sort of backstage areas and stuff, mm-hmm. and we're still going to be thinking about budget as we go. But it's going to be a much larger budget. Yeah. Um, the build with them than what we're used to. Right. So we can we can do sort of more grandiose areas and things like that. Yeah. And we'll pro- and I'm assuming we'll have like you said we'll do back and there's always there's going to be even in Disney parks there's there's areas that are a little less refined and like that i don't know if you're if that's kind of what you're leaning towards or if like yeah a little bit yeah high well, budget like, high you, budget but it's still a theme park it's not yeah well yeah. you can kind of see it here a little bit so we're building a, a hippopotamus enclosure here and as you stand and look over it you see this this wall of uh, rock work um but then the other half of the enclosure that would be sort of underneath you is just sort of like concrete slab. Sure, because you wouldn't see it. Yeah, you wouldn't see it. So, oh, you would see, it, I guess, a little bit, but it's more. It has to be serviceable because it's 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 got a path above it, and you know, so right. so from a structural point of view, it, it needs to be, you know, ser- serviceable and stuff like that. So yeah, we're definitely still keeping that kind of realism in mind. Yeah. Um, but we but we can kind of go a little bit wilder with with so just just sort of general budget and. Um, uh, as a scale, I guess, yeah. but not not size scale though. More more grand, grandeur, yeah. but not oversized. Not Planko yeah. scale, but grander in Archer scale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, still Archer scale, but yeah, bigger, oh, are bigger. Those, are those scope. little drains you just put in? Yeah, yeah. Ah. So the so the 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 waterfall here is it's it's a magical waterfall at the minute that just appears out of grass, <laughs> but because <laughs> you know I wanted to kind of finish this vignette. That I don't know how we're gonna. That can either be pipe work or it, or there could be a higher lake. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, the the, the you've, again that's a, that's a really good example. So from this angle, you've got this lovely waterfall, but the water's got to go somewhere. So we've got some uh, empty into the filter into into some sort of 
filtration system or something. A filter system that chucks the water back up to the top again. Yeah, definitely. I'll have to check that out. Like uh, the Houston Zoo here by me has an amazing elephant exhibit. And okay. they have um, a brand. The, one of the newest parts is they put a pool in. Every few years they expand it. There's this huge yeah. elephant swimming pool. Like, that's what it is. It's meant for wow. them to swim. So I'll have to check that out next time I'm there and get pictures for reference. See, see what they, they can do. do. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get to a zoo anytime soon. Obviously, we've got a big move coming up. But, yeah, definitely sort of thing. I've been looking a lot online. This is actually based on, a, on an actual hippopotamus uh, enclosure. I, I wish I'd have written it down. I can't remember. Uh, where it was now, but it, they they have this sort of large uh, red rock red rock red rock wall. <laughs> try, <laughs> try to say that ten times fast. That's your um, episode name, Red Rock Wall. <laughs> red Rock Wall um, along the back wall here. So that's kind of t- taken from there and trying to get some of the um, like what do you call that stuff? That like greeny the vines. The no, like the stuff like underwater, like that goes the sort moss? Of gathers, like or algae, like the slimy oh, yeah. part. Yeah, yeah, that slimy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, isn't it uh, algae? I think yeah, algae, mossy, oh, yeah. algae. If you're British, I guess it's gross. I like the, yeah. the coverings on the rocks there. That's looking pretty. It's looking pretty good. I'm I'm, I'm actually really excited to be watching this because like okay, <laughs> like because you told me about it and I was like okay. And at first I thought maybe we had some different ideas of what we were looking for, but yeah. so it's nice to say okay, this is the direction you want to go. Got it. I can do this. So. Well, that's it. Well, yeah, and I mean, like you say, with with collaborations, they always kind of evolve as you go, don't they? Because oh, yeah. you, know, you, I think you work off somebody. Oh yeah, much better than than your own sometimes, and it, it's why I think sometimes live streaming is quite good because the chat will throw up ideas that you wouldn't have thought of, and mm-hmm. um, and getting guests in as well. If you just you know if it's your own park, I think that can really help as well. But um, all for the same reasons as, as with collaborations as well. It just it's kind of nice to have a, a, a new pair of eyes. Hit, um, yeah. Hit it sometimes. You are, know. Uh, are guests something that you're can you're, you're wanting to look into eventually yeah, down the road? I I think so. Yeah. I, again, for the same for the same reason that it can sometimes really help with burnout and help with um, just sort of getting a new pair of eyes on it. You know, right? And just, just sort of having that uh, that fresh blood hit it. You know, it's good to know. I know who we can get to do our gardens. <laughs> oh sure, yeah. And that's the other thing I want to say as well. This is a bit of a public service announcement. When I first thought of the idea of doing a safari park um, or zoo in general, I guess. Um, I kind of thought there was more animals on the Theme Makers Toolkit than there is. That's right. <laughs> so um, there's a few on there, and they're really good. Like you said, we've got meerkats there. <laughs> they are so goofy. <laughs> we'll have a look at those in a, in a real-time portion in a moment. And obviously the hippos are in the game from the adventure pack. And the, the adventure ones aren't too bad, actually. There's crocodiles and there's um, snakes mm-hmm. and there's uh, a few others that we can kind of work and, and kind of draw the scale in a little and make them work right. um but really we could we need some safari yeah. uh, animals some zebras giraffes yeah exactly yeah. so any of you that are um theme maker toolkit inclined if you're looking for something to work on um yeah. yeah, some an- some animals help, would be help, good. Help us out. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's good. we're just going to have to say it's a really hot day and all the animals are sleeping. Like, <laughs> yeah, or we're going to have to do some janky ass art shaped shape oh ones like your pigs. Want- <laughs> I'm going to try now just for giggles. I'm going to make an art shape. Uh- okay, moving into a real time section. I'm not, uh, that might be a bit of a messy cut because we <laughs> we're having to re-record this bit. Um, so yeah, sorry if it's what happens when you work with me. This happens way too frequently on <laughs> no, my end. Don't. This is completely me <laughs> just not pressing a button. Like there's no way, there's no way that was anybody else's fault. Um, it is, but yeah, we thought we'd come in and do a, a bit of a real science session. So here are the meerkats. Let's have a look at them. I love those. They're so good. They're made by Dead Eyed Duck, um, and they're really neat. I get, we're going to have to put them on some sort of um, timer, I think, because yeah. Um, Right now they're kind of creepy. Yeah, well, because when I placed them down, obviously, like all the timing was different and it was fine. Yep. But obviously, when you reload the park, the animations all start at the same time, so they all look. Yep. Oh, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It's like. So will we need will we need a little track ride to be our timer? Because I don't think the sequencer will do that. Um, I'm not sure. We might need like a kitty cat ride underground. Yeah, maybe. We'll figure it out. There'll be a ride somewhere that we can attach them to. Yeah, I actually have a, a f- I have a, f- a light in pine wood that flickers on and off to make it look a little jank, and that's just set up mm-hmm. to the carousel, like somewhere else in the yeah, park. Yeah, I, so. I know in in in, in No Name Landia, the whistle on the the the, the wet whistle. Yeah, <laughs> is timed with the coaster. That's yep. it. Yeah, because it's just attached to something like that. But I think this this was the first thing I did, and I think it gives a good uh, example of the 
sort of like higher detail with all the sort of Aztec type builds, but then also we've mm-hmm. got the sort of shutter where they come in and out at night and stuff, you know, and the and the sort of piping yeah. and stuff. So you gotta remember that it's still a serviceable zoo. There's certain things that have just got to be done because of health and safety or whatever. Um, right, yeah, you animal know, safety yeah. and comfort and care. Yeah. All that no, sort of I, stuff. I love yeah. the little tubes all over yeah. there. So cute. They, <laughs> it's really cute. Well, I, like, they were, I thought they were a bit smaller than they were. This was kind of like, because I had an archer down, but I didn't know how big a meerkat was. So. Yeah, they're, they're quite, they're quite not, yeah, they're pretty they're small. They're tiny ones, aren't they? Yeah, so, um, but yeah, I think they worked out quite well. And then over here, we've got the uh, the old hippos Look going as well. That's cool, That's isn't it? That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I, I like that. I think That's it's, really um, we were just saying before, I think it's based on San Diego Zoo. Um, okay. I, I I googled it, hippo enclosure. Especially that kind of view there. That's pretty much a photograph that I found on on online that I kind of replicated. Okay. Even with the cool. with the yawning hippo, the hippo was yawning in the photo. So I was like, oh, I get the yawning hippo there. It's awesome. Like, I'm just excited to use these trees. I've never used. Well, yeah. Well, that's it. That was the main thing I was saying. Like, just all <laughs> like all the bamboo and um, you know, I don't know why I say it like that. <laughs> It's it's from something that I can't. You know one of them things that you say, like you say the quote. Yeah, it's yeah. You say it goofy enough because you learned it from somewhere. Yeah, now you can't remember I have no why idea you say it goofy. From, it was from a show yep. or what? But yeah, <laughs> the thing goes. No, that's the lovely hit bone. Um, so yeah, that's where it's out quite well, I think. And then uh, the other thing that I didn't show on time lapse. Whoopsh, is, um, we do Surprise. we do have a building as well. Um, oh oh God, nearly got et by a hippo. Um, I didn't want to show this on time lapse because I'll be honest with you, I, it took me an age. Um, it's because it's such a different build style, and because I'm using so many pieces that I haven't before, you know. Right. No, I I totally understand. Like I said, go on. Like we said off camera, if if I'm not comfortable with the style or with what I'm doing, I won't I won't record it either. And then it's like, well, crap. What am I going to use now? Yeah. yeah, that's it. It's just sometimes it's it's you're very aware that you're being watched, I guess, when you've built when you're building mm-hmm. for a time lapse. So, um, I decided yeah. to not do that. So, apologies for not having a time lapse here, but we'll show you around. So, it's going to be a um, a pizza and pasta buffet. Um, we did say off camera that they, they they do exist in the states, right? You know that that that's, yeah. that's the thing. Uh, yeah, at least a standalone restaurant. I don't know about in parks. Okay. They might. I don't. Well, the original idea yeah. for this was from Alton Towers in the UK. They have a. It's called the Explorers Pizza and Pasta Buffet, uh, and it's by the Runaway Mine Train. And um, thought I'm pretty sure Thought Park has one as well. Uh, they're good for parks because they're they're pretty cheap, and there's a really high throughput. Because um, pretty much you just you you walk in, you like you say, you pay your money. Uh, mm-hmm. And you and you 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 feed yourself and leave when you're ready, don't you? So it's you know there's a re- real low staff to staff n- number yeah, needed. That's and, just for, yeah, small um, staff, right? And right. and just sort of all you need really are a few servers and a, and a few sort of cleaner uppers, I guess. Um, and obviously, bus boys. yeah, bus boys. And there's a lot of you know, bus, lot of bus humans, bus, bus people. Probably. I don't think you have to specify the species. Bus non-gender, <laughs> bus non-gender specific. Exactly. Um, I got to use the puffer fish. I've never used the puffer fish before. <laughs> you sound so excited. And well, yeah, like you say, just getting to use all these pieces that you wouldn't do. These are awesome. Like one of the best things about the adventure pack was these awesome palm trees. They're really great yeah. detail. Like the yeah. best, the best foliage we've got in the game, I think. Um, and I get to yeah, use them probably. Now. You're probably right. So we'll have a look. In this is a work in progress, by the way. This is nowhere near finished. Outside's near enough done. It needs a little bit of detail, but over outside is near enough done. And we've got this sort of slightly raised. Um, uh, what do you call this like patio area patio. I guess yeah yeah um, I love that I think that's really just nice. the fact it's raised up a little bit I think works really quite yep. nice um, subtle height differences they make all the I difference. learned that from Mike um, that was one thing he he sort of told me <laughs> about haven't. yeah <laughs> was to kind of get that sort of that sort of staggered that tier so it's something I really think about when I get the buildings in there so you've got the floor the patio the balcony uh, the sort of you know the hangover and then the and then right. the, 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 that last bit up there that sort of no the shape's very yeah. nice I like the entrance the 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 yeah I like that entrance kind of arch almost yeah it's loosely based on um, uh, a uh, a restaurant called the Explorers Restaurant at Hong Kong Disney um, okay. loose very loosely though if you if you look it up you'll but you'll you'll see some ideas where I've gone you know um, right 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 interior wise it's still a very much a work in progress it's it's very al fresco still at the minute as you can see um, <laughs> very much the art the, yeah we haven't cleared the archer out yet um, we've got a bar wake up there you go um, again 
needs a bit of more detail, but they, 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 we've got a bar there and yep. sort of like waiting room. And I, I wanted to make it serviceable as well, so we have got an actual uh, pizza and drinks place in. Um, sure, so at least people will go inside. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And then here we've got our pizzas. <laughs> um, oh, my God. This took about an hour to find I I, stuff it's so goofy <laughs> so we've got a, it reads so well as pizza yeah that yeah from there it's look, look at that they could be in game <laughs> yeah, assets there. couldn't they <laughs> but then we've got grass oh no because i asked you how did you do we've that? got grass pizza um Yum. tulip tulip pizza uh this another grass pizza but that's grass and cheese so this is your this is ah. your this is for your lactose intolerant oh. That's your non-dairy pizza. Got it. Okay. That's your vegan, proper vegan, just grass. Um, <laughs> and then we've got about right. uh, yeah, grass, grass and cheese. cheese. That one. Um, I tell you what. Answers on a postcard. Let me know in the comments what you think that piece is there because uh, John couldn't guess. Could you? <laughs> no. No, I, I didn't know what that yeah. was. And now I do. It's and gross. Yeah. <laughs> and then a, a bay leaf pizza as well um yeah they look really good from there so we've still got a bit of work to do here we'll do a salad bar and the the rear kitchen there needs some stuff as well um i think i'll use uthris's uh kitchen set that you made that's pretty good um uh, we're not going to do every interior we just we we did say that quite early on in the planning didn't we but that we won't do every interior yeah yeah you need you need some kind of like in no name lander and pinewood you need some interiors but at all or or even do like half interiors like as you walk by you can sort of see in the shop but if you were to actually go in the shop like like little vignettes kind of thing you know mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i think that'd be good so yeah. um so yeah that'd there we go good let's good. Uh, zoom out of our poor tajik cam janitor so that's it i mean it's so crazy that like that was probably best part of 10 hours work you know yeah, well, especially when you're dealing with a new a new scenery uh, theme like this, not nah, takes a. It long looks time. like this on the park. It looks like a little God, speck. Nothing. <laughs> um, nothing there. So, have you, um, any thoughts as to what your what what's next? Um, well, if my cat would be quiet, uh, I pl- <laughs> I plan to do your logo, do the logo, um, the proper Planko logo with heart shapes. And it's been a while, but we'll see. I said that when I when I when I showed you the logo, and um, I was like, "Yeah, do you like that?" And he was like, "Yeah, it's pretty good." I was like, "Oh, good, because you're making it out of our shapes." Yeah, <laughs> that's still even though you I haven't think, done it for I a while. That's your thing. I think we should make this a teaching moment. Yeah. You should figure it out. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I would rather make it in Blender and import it as an asset than sit and do it. In oh our well, shapes. those break my game. So <laughs> yeah, we have said that. Obviously. We are going to use Theme Maker's Toolkit assets, but we're just going to use anim- like animals, basically. So yeah. uh, there are some animals on the workshop already. If, if any of you are that way inclined and would like to make more animals, we'd be very grateful for some safari-style yes, animals. Um, yes, yes, that would be really helpful. Yeah, but we're not going to be using uh, like signage or or anything like that, just purely no, because I can of how it, how it treats the game at the moment. You know. Yep. Uh, yeah. I would rather a thousand-piece custom sign than a blender sign right now. Weirdly, is still more optimized to use a thousand piece yeah. sign. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, if I can knock that sign out in a reasonable amount of time, um, I will also want to work on. I think the entrance area. I, I've got some ideas, at least for like an entrance, maybe gateway or arch type thing. Uh huh. Might be kind of cool. Yeah. To do that. Definitely yeah. something like it's going to be fun to do something a bit more grandiose than what we used to, isn't it? You know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. This is. I, I got to do some research now, uh-huh. but I'm excited. So. <laughs> So yeah, give me the file. I want to go to work. Cool. Okay, right. Well, thanks ever so much for watching, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. It really does help out. And, uh, you know, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. And, of course, subscribe to Mass Bandit as well, because uh, episode two, uh, and well, every other episode, in fact, is going to be over there. And, um, yep, I'll get the evens. Mm-hmm. It's very, uh, thanks very much for watching. Any feedback, any suggestions for references or anything like that, you know, uh, throw them down in the comments. It'll be uh, very much appreciated. If you fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. And I am at MassBandit102. There you go. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Take care of them. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, I know. And the cat says bye too. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>